And we are finally back. 12 years after the game's release and six years since we've last been Where the fuck is Neo? It is finally time. It I'm a fiend. Oh, my brother. Hanging out with him. Evolution. And I have the privilege today to be joined by the legend. Legend. The one and only. One and only. Fiend. Yes, sir. Look, thank for that amazing intro, Tom. All of this wouldn't be possible without yeah, you. Yeah, true facts. Keeping the facts. game going for these facts. few years. Everybody give it up for Tom. Give it up for Tom for making this happen. Let's go, baby. We all love Tom. And I am so excited to be here. I am so we love Tom. excited Facts. for the upcoming matches we have. This top six is stacked. Yeah, I mean, right now we are about to have Kane Blue River versus Liberal Terminator. Oh, my goodness. Kane so this is this match, right? Potential two -piece. This match any, is a problem any, uh, because... KBR has a significant advantage here. Experience, experience, and matchup. We also have on the other side of winners, Star Prediction. Two of the top zero players competing today. But awaiting Who wins? On the loser side, we have Monday. KBR. Monday, obviously, one of the best Nova players out here today. But Spartan Throne coming all the way from the Liberal. Would you say that's Spartan Terminator Throne, uh, making it this far was a surprise? Um, I don't want to say it was a surprise. I think uh, you know, but Got it. it was definitely not my top. Who wins? Pick. Now KBR is so, definitely uh, advantage. You know, it's if KBR has experience think, advantage. Yeah, a little bit. I look. I I think Spartan Throne. I've seen him in the weeklies. I've seen him putting in the work. And what I've maintained is that now that he's in in the same time zone. <laughs> you know, like like there's no uh, uh, handicap for him, so now he's here to hold it down. Oh yeah, that overseas delay for <laughs> online, that that alone. Wait, who's commentating this? <laughs> I like combo being commentating, but how come Yipes is not commentating right. Marvel Finals? All right. So we got LT coming up first against Kane Blue River. This is Where's Neo Yipes? Generations of players. Neo Kane Yipes, mine. We all know the. Or combo being Yipes. We like combo being commentating. We like combo being commentating. He's traveling all the way from Chile, but the we're... world warrior himself. But he's going up against the young gun, the new blood, liberal Terminator. I'm so confused. Only 18 years old. He just started competing in tournaments when Parsec started. I so love LT, man. He, went to his first major last year he saw me at Evo, and he like, he's like, oh, he, he said a lot of nice things about me, right. and then and he uh, took a picture uh, and with, him, with me and him, and it's so plays, sweet. I mean, and I'm rooting for him as well, pulling for him. But my number one pick is Jabril for sure. So I'm much more closer to Jabril. And I'm invested. Okay, I'm invested. I put in a lot of time on Jabril. Okay, my man's too good. He just needs a little bit of guidance. Either one of them can execute their game plan against one another. Let's get it going. Yeah, for sure. Big bodies against Nova. But now these two guys have faced mm. off before. If Jabril wins, maybe I show our notes. Our notes. Because we made a lot of notes. On specifics. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Actually, so awesome. LT from tournament. Okay. So will he repeat? Will he repeat the magic? Yeah. We'll see right now. Where is Neo and Yikes? I mean, you already know how the nerves hit. When you're on the main stage at Evo. Oh my gosh! And with this crowd here in attendance, oh man. Man, he's Ooh. nervous. All Look right, at him. Guys, we're about to get it popping. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Run away! And Take the grab. Yes. Oh, Not air oh. grab. Ground grab. Jesus oh Christ! You can't do that. You can't do that. Take the oh, grab in the ground. He's dead. You can't do that against KBR. To get air thrown here. And if dead. KBR touches you. You yeah, always you can do that. Take the ground grab, play. not air grab. You and die. He doesn't use any meter. It's unfair sometimes. Can he block? Hey, fuck. Oh, oh, he mixed it up a little bit. He didn't oh, he can see. He can win. Okay. Yeah, he can oh, win. He can win. He can win. The grapple, the yeah, he gets another one here. Able to keep it going. Yeah, but the health of Hulk is Yeah, that's the TAC. TAC. Oh, he can win this. Pretty quickly. Oh yeah, the great. This is all very front heavy. Yeah. Ah, it's close. It's up. close. Oh, yeah, see? It's close, yeah. No. Wrong combo. That's the advantage you you get. can't do that. Oh that. my god, it LT, man. Possible. That's two mistakes, the, son. You were given you two get. chances, too. You can't do that in this here. game. See, this is when experience comes every, in. Every angle, every 
Let me tell you, this is experience. Like, you can still win here, don't get me wrong. Anybody can take it, but I'm saying, I'm talking just the advantage. Okay, 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 okay. He can win. Please don't choke up. You got three chances now. KBR's team is so good while all three characters are alive. Okay. Don't fuck around! Oh my god, you'll find out! Oh no, he doesn't care! Disadvantage! Oh my god, he had three chances. Bro, you ain't. You can't fuck around with this man. Look at him. It's too sick. Nice. He took the grab there, stayed in the ground, right? But KBR didn't go for a grab. He went for the. Nice. This is snap. Snap Sentinel every time. Yes. Thank you. This is dead. Don't drop the combo. This is 100% dead. Gosh, one player game on both sides, right? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, 80. Give it to him. X Factor. All right, well, hopefully you got a good mix here. You're a little familiar with the 80Ks, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tagging the Doom. Yes, get the combo. Okay, yeah, like, good finals. I think folks about to get wiped. Oh, yes, that, sir. That, that X Factor damage was definitely so critical. insane. That's dead, 100%. Damage, oh, you can, you can tell. The, the decisions the against way. KBR's team is very straightforward. But, now, KBR, but even, it's very it's volatile. So one wrong decision can cost you the game. And he is. Right. He's still going to be in a very rough spot. We got LT here. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. LT did not do it's okay. the Bionic Arm expecting to get grabbed that far. KBR seems to have the download on LT. He knows it's okay. the grapples are coming. He knows exactly how to punish this. You already know KBR is a lab monster. Oh, and then here's the last one. Now, this is where it gets tough because. Oh, oh maybe not so that's tough. That's okay. That's okay. Dash These things are relevant. You can't kill. Okay, this doctor do advantage. Oh, oh my god, why would you put that? What are you doing? Oh, he still has a chance here. Okay, throw, but it's so much, so much life on He's not going to kill. Side. Even with the level 3, it won't kill. Yeah, but you'll get the health lead and you can run away, and that's what he's looking to do. Oh, no, he actually goes. Oh, wow, yeah, because he, he saw it. Oh, okay, now go. All right. <laughs> it, it's, the Bro Terminator keeps it simple. This is going to be a win for him. Yeah, LT there definitely had a uh, little jump scare. Oh, my goodness. 1 1. All right, starting off strong. Liberal Terminator. If he can get away at the beginning of the match, we have a match. Oh, yeah, that's sure. how it is. Right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, that's how it's played. But, but I'm glad there's some recovery there. It's gonna be the cage show. No, 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 I'm telling you. All those damage that KBR did, that was okay. Take, oh, okay. That's a plank back. KBR went for the up this again. Because there's a lot of art, rock, paper, scissors to start. Still can't kill, though. You can kill. Man, why do you still go for that? That's a one frame combo, bro. To go for the max, max, and you still want to kill. KBR drop a combo? Okay, it's neutral, neutral, back to neutral. Oh my god! Yeah, full punish on Hulk there off of that whip super. And now we get to run this back with the hard tag again. LT wins. You kill Hulk, it's over. Because all the damage from Sentinel and Hagar is irrelevant. It's all comes to Hulk. It's okay. Who's this? Magic Carpet? Yeah, but LT can't really go forward there. He can't go forward there. He can just stay there. He can't blink. He can't out movement the fucking hard drive. What do you mean? That's not. That wasn't smart. That's standard. That was stupid by Kane. Yes, tournament combo. Let's go, LT. Get this man. But you already know how it is I want KBR to win, so it's easier for Jabril if Jabril beats, um, you know, hitbox guy, evasion. But in general, this will be a very good grand finals if it's LT versus Jabril, you know? Um, so, but I still want... Oh my god, the delayed short to punish the plink dash. 
Oh shit! This is fucking huge! Damn, you didn't want to get iced by KBR the last game? Bro, if Spencer lands. Oh, okay, GG. GG. Last game. KBR ain't dropping two combos in a 3 out of 5. I'm sorry, but he just don't drop combos. It's a whole combo. How, how do you drop this? Yeah. Dead. And don't even think about Dr. Doom coming back from this shit. Nice. Yeah, you can't combo here. Come on now. Stop with that. Uh -huh. You got a super here too. Boom. GG. You can't. You can't. You just can't. You can't come in. Damn, bro. KBR's team is so scary. You gotta slow it down. Take it easy. Bro, bro, with a starter. Oh, he mixed it up. Oh my god, you didn't learn! Why would you jump? Why would you jump? That's the worst thing you can do is jump against Paul at the start. That's all option selected. Oh, he has a chance. Oh my god, he just needs to land, right? So he can play neutral with Spencer. So Spencer can fight this. Oh, this is so scary right now. Spencer can win this, I'm telling you guys. GG, he does. He does, GG. Oh, okay, BR and winners finals. How does he do it? Oh my goodness. All right, well, you know, Liberal Terminator, you gotta take beat. Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom, this is your... Oh, it ain't gonna come in. Sorry, it ain't gonna come in. GG. It's GG. Shake his hand. Right yeah, there. it's too hard to beat Cable Blue River. Blue River, guys. You can't... Two it's too hard. Away. Two matches away <laughs> from becoming a two-time Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Evil Champ. Yeah, I mean, he definitely would be the first one there. LT, I mean... He was swinging all the way, but this is roughly Too the good. same result we saw in the past when they played against each other a few months ago. I mean, obviously Nova and Too good. don't always do the best against the big body team. And Kane, That's Kane good. River does the best. He is the best Hulk central. You gotta appreciate stuff like that, you know what I mean? You can hear the, che can hear the cheers from Like, the look, it was such a know, simple knowledge, favorite. like, check situation, right? I wish LT would have reached out to me. I would have yeah, helped him know, out like, too. The, the against KBR match. Nova just makes that start that much scarier, right? Because as we've seen, air throw, anything that, that no. does, it's over. No, sure no, that's not true. Let me mute this. Tell you guys, there's only two things you gotta do there. Number one, you, if you can do, take the grab. You take the grab at the start. Okay, you do ready. Fight. You take the crouch, crouch. Okay, crouch. Down back, take the grab. If he goes for grab, you just roll forward, call assist the other way, okay? Or roll back the other way, whatever, okay? If if, if Hulk does jump and you're crouching, don't press the button because the lariat is coming. So you just back dash again. And then now you start the match, okay. Okay, you don't fuck with Hulk at the start. You just lose every time, okay? Then the next decision you have there, so number one, the first, we only have one, you have two decisions. Second decision you have is ready, Fight, you plink dash back, and then you can do, you plink dash back one time. If Hulk does no, normal jump, the Lariat will whiff already because he called it early, and you can do jab, 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 fucking Hulk. Okay, you only have two decisions. That, that's it. Don't, don't, don't make it more complicated. That's it. You, you only have two decisions. You pick one of those. You don't jump. So especially get somebody as talented as Kane. Yes. Right. And then uh, let's see. Kimberly so next up, we have Jabril versus Evasion. A zero battle. Yeah, definitely a zero. No, zero. I'm okay. I don't need yeah, to play, guys. The strongest I don't need to play. I don't need to play Marvel 3 anymore. I've done too much right in this game. But doesn't mean I don't support it. I'm still very involved with these players. I'm very involved. So this is my pick. I've been sort of coaching Jabril for a hot minute now. Um, and and he's my pick to win the whole thing. Not because I'm biased, 
but because I know he's going to win. He fixed all his problems already. So this should be an easy 3-1 or 3-0. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, Jabril, uh, from... This you know, one, talking this, to a this lot set. People, he is the favorite to take um, this very clean zero. Let me see, what are you guys talking about? I miss, the, I miss playing Mario for sure, but I want to play Street Fighter. And Street Fighter, I like to play. players out here, so... You know, Doesn't mean like I support every single person playing Marvel 3. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll play again. Who knows? But I'm I'm okay, guys. I don't know. I mean, about who can strike first, who can force the neutral, who can put their projectiles out. You know, meter management is going to be so important here between both of these guys. And uh, are we, yeah, yeah, you just yeah. don't jump. Okay, no. it should be easy. The strategy here has been written down. Now, Jabril is going to play yeah, super simple fireball game. Yeah, that's better than you try a fireball game. Players, they okay, are ready to first go evasion. Their first match to get him desperate. On the main stage here at Evo. Because evasion has very poor fireball game. So if you no, see, man, I'm, I'm and he's not going to overextend at all. So that's going to be the strategy the here. Okay. <laughs> he had a lot of notes in this matchup. The mirror match. It's oh, yeah, quite, sure. quite volatile because the Rock Virgil can win on both ends. All right. and yep, see how Jabril running away? Yep. See how like he's playing this space game, here, see? Yeah, and, sure, yeah, see? The, this is the game plan that we talked about. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna play that fucking Ooh, game. Okay, okay. Wait! First touch, will he be able to... What happened? Are you gonna do that hit the loops? Is it gonna be one player game soon? Wait, we said you can practice loops at combo. How come the colors are different? Oh my gosh, that is what you need. You need that first zero win to establish control. That's okay. But you know, we got Virgil in the background. That's okay. That's the other, you know, crazy Yeah, he has he has um there's like two win conditions here for 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 Jabril. Yeah, to extend it the mid game as long as he can. Yeah. Oh wow, got in there. Nice block on the rapid flash. That's okay. And Standard. Oh, yes, TC. Uh huh. Not Why not TC? Oh, no, we'll go for the mix, I guess. Yeah, he tried to set up for the reset there. Didn't work mm -hmm. out quite all the way he wanted. Still okay. Alright, Yeah, teleport right now. Nice. Mix. Okay, so if you ask me, why did he tag there, champ? Well, he tagged there to prepare for the end game. Because his only win condition now is to get a Dark Virgil comeback. But he X Factor with Dark. Okay, see? I knew that it was reversed. I knew Jabril was second player, bro. He ain't making stupid decisions like that X Factor with a win condition? There you go. I knew that. Oh, the teleport's going crazy right now. <laughs> I knew it. He knows he's gonna get some kind of advantage before Jabril comes out. I knew that shit. That's just stupid. Oh, the X Factor doesn't quite. He's gonna take a risk. Block. Don't, don't, don't cross this. Stall. Super, super. Oh, he did it. The super, super. Oh my God. That's what we talked about, motherfucker. This so fucking simple. This game has been mapped the fuck out, bro. Oh. It's fucking right. Be comfortable. Don't start the game. Oh, that shit last night, too. Don't start the game. Be comfortable. Yep. Stall. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby! I'm so proud, I'm so proud, I'm so happy. Let's go. Okay, let's stand it. That's okay. You got hit by the zero stop. That's okay. Oh my god, don't press C. Jam. Okay, great, great, great. Okay. Keep the composure. It's good. He does not have a fireball game. His neutral is whack. Alright, let's go. His neutral is whack. Get this man out of here. Come on. Respectfully, Evasion. Okay, I'm rooting for my boy. I'm sure your boy is talking shit too. 
Okay, okay. He got, he got, he got no, he got no nuke. Okay, homeboy got no neutral. Okay. You guys see some Street Fighter stuff? You guys see how like the Guile players and the Chun Li players be zoning the fuck out of the other motherfuckers, and the guy got no nuke. You know what I'm talking about? This is exactly how he feels. Uh huh. Don't overextend. There you go. Kill him. This guy's desperate. Uh huh. Oh, mm, 3 0. Come on. Mind you, this is still there's still a 10% chance with the Dark Virgil. Okay? He still has a 10%. One mix. Uh huh. GG. I told him only do one one layer. Don't go for multiple layers because you might get hit by the extract or cancel into set play. He doesn't understand, bro. He doesn't understand. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Take your time. Let's go. All right. Avija's gonna need to step it up. Uh, he's gonna have to figure out a, the better way to, you know, establish control and get that easy first and take out uh, uh, Jabril's zero because that's the story yeah. here. Jabril zero's been putting in work. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Make coach. F champ proud, please Jabril, please make me proud, okay? Yep. Uh huh. Stick to the game plan. It's okay. That that happens. That happens a lot. In the first 10 seconds of the game, somebody might get hit. You're trying to avoid that as much as possible, but it's quite hard to do that every game. So it's okay. That's fine. You still have a win condition. You play neutral as long as you can with Dante. If you can't, DHC to Virgil. If it doesn't work out, tag it back Dante in. Standard set. Oh, snap. yeah, Snaps. Wow. We have a chance. Nice oh, we have a chance. He's stupid. We have an opening. Uh huh. Oh my god, he's stupid. Oh, he's stupid. Oh shit. He gave. Oh, oh my god, he's dumb. He's dumb as fuck. He's dumb. He don't want to win. He don't want to win. He's stupid. Oh, he's so stupid. He's so stupid! Oh, he's done! This guy's allergic to winning! Get him out of here! He's stupid! He's stupid! He doesn't know how to play! He doesn't know how to play! Let me ask you guys. Three characters, right? You kill one, now it's two versus three. Then if you hit the second character, then it becomes what? Three versus one. So he decides to pick two versus three. I wonder, maybe he thinks that two versus three might be better for him, but I thought that was really simple. I, I, I don't understand. It's the same odds. You're trying to hit the same, per, the same character, right? It's the same odds. It's the same fucking odds. Same odds. Take it. Correct. I made a few bad decisions. I need to clean it up. Um, or, you know, in, in some cases, hey, I didn't really get my chance to show what I got because uh, I got zero. So, you know, like, you know, not, even now zeros can get zero, right? <laughs> exactly. But, you know, now it's, it's the same odds. He's not fighting any more zeros in it's so fight. stupid, yeah, right? Like, Why would you do that? That is dumb as fuck, right? Let's fucking go. Let's go, Jabril. See, Jabril. It's so stupid. In full control. What's up, Chris? How are you, Crizzle? Miss you, brother. Yeah. You guys saw. You heard my commentary about this shit. This shit's dumb as fuck. You don't snap. You kill. You kill. You don't snap. Because, okay, let me tell you. The goal of Jabril is to get Dante out and bring Virgil in. Okay. So he would have Virgil with Dante assist and X Factor and so on, right? Evasion just did collusion, okay? He helped Jabril on his... Yeah, I'm watching, bro. I'm watching. We watching. 
We rooting for you. Rooting for you. Go do the safe strat um, versus KVR. Um, I think you should do the cloud tech. Plus backdash. Every game. And live with the results. Also, don't overextend and get comfortable. Please. And drink water. Kill this man. Okay, let's go. I know you won, Krizo. Good luck, man. Uh, good stuff, brother. I know. Well deserved. That's my brother right there. But it's not like... But then again, Chris, you've been owning everybody in Marvel 2 anyways for the last six months now, I feel. Right? You've been beating Chaos as well. Yeah, so it's like that's not necessarily uh it's not outside of the realm of possibility that Crystal wins Evo Marvel 2 because you've been beating people anyways the whole time. So you're definitely one of the best Marvel 2 players currently. Right? So No, I was in Vegas. I I left. Yeah. I wouldn't really say I don't like calling games dead. I just I, I think the best way to call it would be like games are not for certain games that, that get when they get older they, they don't become mainstream games anymore, right? So they're mostly for hardcore fans. You know, the people who love the game. Kinda like Marvel 3. Marvel 3 is a hardcore game nowadays. It's not for mainstream anymore, right? But we were lucky enough to do, you know, that they brought in Marvel 3, but Marvel 3 fan base is fucking huge. And welcome it's back more, it's more, it's, it's a newer Evo game, right? Plus it looks pretty as fuck. So, this is there. But right now, we're not playing Marvel 3, we became a fucking coach. <laughs> we became a coach. I'm so proud, I'm so proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who do we have coming up? Talk to him, Tom. Oh, man. We've got the man himself from the UK, Spartan Throne. Wearing the country. Hey, I've been a coach for a while. You know how many lessons I've given? How many How many of those lessons in coaching I've been doing? I've probably taught like a hundred plus already. And it's always good. So it's definitely one of my pa biggest passions is coaching in general. I just love it. I love to, I love to help any any gamer you know that you know any gamer any fighting gamer in general but in any level too it doesn't have to be a pro it could be a beginner a newbie just started up and comer you know pro like it's good it's always good He's gonna want to run it back through loser, so you can run it back against KBR. Yeah, it was a close match with those two, three, two down to the wire. Okay, I mean, so let me tell you guys, the there's a huge run. chance. You know, like, there's a huge chance. Do a prediction, LT mods, please, if you guys can for me. Okay, LT can lose to this Wolverine. This is one of the bad matches for his team. If he doesn't survive the first five seconds, there's a hundred percent way to get out of this, mind you. Get ready to brawl. Fight, super jump up forward. Please do that, LT. Super jump up forward, dash down roundhouse. You escape the bullshit fucking Iron Fist makes up Wolverine. Get ready to brawl. Fight. Get take this, okay? Get ready to brawl. Fight. Mm. Okay. Do that, LT. One hundred percent. You escape this bullshit. And then you play neutral and let your neutral hold. Man, I'm just thinking about Spartan, man. Think, thinking about him back. coming across the ocean. And yeah, onto this I will backdash no matter the stream position. Definitely, yeah, of course I'm right, motherfucker. Of course I'm right. Throughout the entire weekend, I'm sure they're here. Okay, right now. get comfortable. 
Well, let's see if those cheers are going to be enough. Come for it. Yeah. Yeah. Your default just wins. Told you that was three. Told, told you that was going to be a three zero. ABR might get a game. So don't get flustered. You win. 3 1. Go, 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 go. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Did he escape? No, 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 for sure. Mind you guys, we are we like Spartan thrown, but actually, I like everybody that's in the top six for sure. Even KBR, these guys are playing the game, progressing the game. You know what I'm saying? This is my favorite fighting game. I will always, always support them. You know, it's a different. Okay, okay, Ryan that's like competing, Evchan that's competing with them. Everybody's a bum. Okay, when I'm a when I'm a coach or somebody who's like spectating, who's a Marvel fan, I I really appreciate every player. I swear, it's different. Okay, yeah, it's like a different mindset. Okay, like KBR is one of the top Marvel genius ever. I would say that's a correct statement, minus the genius. Minus the genius, okay? Don't say that. There's very few people you can actually put that word there, okay? KBR is one of the... Consistent players. Who has amazing combos, great creativity, with no neutral game. But somehow makes it far every tournament. So clap. To them, right? So oh my gosh. I think respect. Respect yeah, there. Such great use of the plasma Respect. Dr. You know what I mean? I respect the man. I do fucking respect the guy, okay? See, see, guys, look. You know, you look at look at the chat how you guys get so invested on the KBR F Jam right? Do you guys know KBR stayed in my house? Do you guys know that? Do you guys know that me and KBR had multiple dinners together? Do you guys know that at team event, KBR was my first pick? Okay, well, it's like this. I hate KBR then. I hate KBR. I hate KBR then. You guys are right. We are fucking enemies. Okay? We are enemies. There's only one problem when I'm with KBR. There's only one, for reals. I... It's very difficult because since he is the real life Humpty Dumpty, right? He's shaped like an egg. So the problem there, you can't really bump him like that much because he might crack and you have to put a bunch of tape around him. It's a real fucking struggle. So there, that's like one thing. So like when I pop off or we're talking shit or like high-fiving or dabbing each other, I can't go to no ham. He might crack completely. I don't want to see what's coming out of that shit. That shell. What? I'm telling you, I respect that. I respect that guy. I respect that. KBR is the real life Humpty Dumpty. I like Spartan, man. This guy loves Marvel 3, bro. Okay, he came all the way from um, Europe. I don't know exactly the country, so I don't want to fuck it up. What country is that? Is that UK, guys? UK flag. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Shouts to the UK, you know, breeding some amazing Marvel players. Thank you, guys. 
Ooh, nice TAC. Oh my god. Does he have the infinite? Does he have it? No, doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. It's hard to do. Why go for that? Why go for that? Why go for that? Why go for that? You cannot catch him. Well done. All right. Ooh, but he used the uh, Wolverine assist, so he couldn't tag back in Wolverine. But it's okay though. He has spells. You don't want to have Dormammu against Spencer. You ain't gonna get shit done here. That's so weird. You go for Dark Hole there. Oh my God. Whip punish. Oh no, you're fucked. Okay, good. Don't, don't, don't extend. It's a Spencer. This is so ballsy to leave Dormammu against Spencer Beam. You gotta be a true. Madman to do that. He ain't gonna get anything started. Wait, why do we have that there? Yeah, we're gonna get Marvel 4. I just don't know if it, it really right. is or a remake. Is out on his Doom. This is a Marvel 3 really first before they release Marvel 4, but we're definitely getting Marvel 4. Oh, yeah. It's like 100%. Oh my gosh. Nice. Spartan not going out without a fight. And then I might I might present it in the next Oh yeah, he was trying to get the guaranteed kill. Nice counter hit there. Oh, but if you ask me if I played it or know much about it, no, I didn't know. But I know for sure it's gonna happen. No version that it does not. You see me getting mad that I didn't get to play Street Fighter? Well, they, you, you all can have Street Fighter. Everybody can have Street Fighter. Okay, Street Fighter is like Tokido's Ken to his Akuma. Okay, it's a placeholder. Okay. To me, Street Fighter is a placeholder until I get my Marvel game or Project L. Street Fighter's always been a placeholder. I'm just sick at fighting games so I can play Street Fighter, okay? But I like to play Marvel games. I think that's not really new. It's not really new to y'all. I'm just... I just play fighting games, you know? Alright, getting the throw here. Alright, well, what side? What side for the TAC? Up. Oh, let me see. Let me rephrase that. I don't know if it's gonna be a Marvel game or is a, but for sure we're gonna have a versus game. There you go. That's the proper way to say it. Lazy G money. Okay, check out. Look at that link. Oh. I'm gonna be too hard to just G C copy link here. This is a better link. Right here is liberal gonna this is going to finish it off. I think that's an old article. And this might be the end of Spark. Kinda got in trouble because of that. One of the reasons. LT good stuff. Oh man, and liberal takes it over Spartan man. Give Spartan a big round of applause for making it. Through these performance. Yeah, all the way across the well, ocean. exactly. Exactly. That was three years ago. Think about that. We got we got in trouble because of that. Was that around the same timeline that Champ tweeted some stuff about watermelons? What do you think? What do you think? Right. Same timeline too. Right. What do you think? Definitely got to show it off a little bit. That assist is there. Oh, yeah. I really got banned because of the watermelon, yeah, huh? What do you think? Believe or it was used as a like pretty here. good news for I'm a pretty good reason. What do you guys think? Of, right? Such a quote unquote limited character going off. Yeah. yeah. He was able to finish off this comeback. I, we might I think so. Different result here at the end. But I think so. The, the, uh, no, oh, I'm sorry. I, I may have talked yeah. a little bit more, but I'm sorry. Damn, that was such a bummer, right? Because yeah. then that could have changed the whole course of the, the matchups, right? Because then it would have been 1-1. Uh, one, one, and yep. then, you know, who knows how Liberal Terminator would have been feeling inside with, with that comeback. <sighs> exactly. Exactly. How would he have responded? But you know what? No favorites here. We're excited for LT to keep it moving. The 18-year-old, the boy wonder himself. So. <laughs> All right. So now we are looking at our next match coming up. <laughs> yeah, Don't worry about that. That was not the reason. 
There's so much more happening behind the scenes than you guys think. You guys read on Twitter what they tweet about it, certain things. So much more. It's not just as simple as, oh, he did this, so now he's this. No, trust me. You guys ever wonder why Evo didn't never ban me or anything like that? Even after that, I was never banned. Dominant this year as well. He started off really strong. I was never banned. I was not banned by CEO, was not banned by Combo Breaker, was not banned. I was banned by CPT. And this is the time that I don't even play Street Fighter. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was banned to I was banned to attend CPT events. Yeah, well, in 2020 and 2021 yeah. during After pandemic. They said, you know what? I think you and are like, wait, they banned me you guys are yeah. the on the CPT yeah. event on pandemic when there was no CPT event? Oh, great. That was the biggest fucking You're thing ever. Fan, right? And when I haven't competed Street Fighter since 2018 at Evo. Think about these things. Like, they, this is like crazy. But then people saying FGM did these things. Yep, that's right. I just didn't even bother arguing. About know, these things, but you know, thing going with a that's how it is. Using Magneto as his anchor, uh, using the EM disruptor assist to get in, uh, and you know, he's so effective with his style of the Nova Spencer show. No, no, we're not banned. We are not banned. Let's understand this. We are not. We are not. Okay, we are not. Okay, we can play. It's just caters to his style more. Monday likes to move fast. You but we just got sidetracked at Evo a little bit, okay? So we we have potentially resolved that, okay? So we're good. So just we just took a little bit of fucking. We took us we took a level three there at Evo, okay? That was maybe that's the last meter, okay? Everything else after that is good. No, what happened to me is totally different than what happened to Infiltration and any other person. Totally different. Who do we like? I want to know what you guys think. Who do we like? Who yeah, likes we good. Monday? Okay, let's just have fun and play. All right, all right, all right. That's, that's a pretty good response. So we got any invasion fans in the house? Okay, I'm rooting for Mundang. I was hanging. I was like, Mundang introduced himself to me at Starbucks at, at Evo, right? And introduced his wife, etc. I was like, oh my god, look at your face. I said that to him. My first initial reaction. Oh my god. It's like, hey, Absham, my name is Mundang. And then my first reaction, I looked at him. Oh my god, look at your face. And then he was like, what's wrong with my face? You're so passionate and happy about Marvel, and I love that. Good luck. I think you're gonna do. You gotta get top six for sure. And, and, and I know that face, that look, you know, somebody's so excited and so passionate about the game and they're playing a lot, that's passion. And, and I was right with that prediction too. Did you guys see my prediction at Marvel, right? I, put, I was wrong with Ryan OV not making and Ray Ray, but I was correct with KBR. I was correct with Mundang. I was correct with Jabril. I was correct with LT. So I was correct four out of six. Then you know, obviously Spartan took over, you know, in evasion. Yeah. And here we go. Let's go Monday. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. You're supposed to push block there at the ground too. And then super jump up forward there. But let's see what happens. It pushed block in the air. That's why Zero was able to dash in again immediately. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Ooh! Let's go. This is the time where you actually snap. If you were to snap, this is the well, time too, okay? But that's an option because you would have the other shit with the fucking Spencer shit, okay? If you were to, because Dante is not very good in that against Magneto and Spencer, okay? But killing is also not a bad situation because you have this need. Yet, so it's not bad either way. So both decisions there will be correct. That's why. Yo, Caesar 20xx. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. That's like, it's a different decision round. Because you have a guaranteed 50 50 either way against Virgil. Okay. 
That was same side. You will know if it's a cross up. As it's after the fact, okay? But not not like real time, it's a guess. But you can always block it 100% of the time. You can ask Ray Ray about it. When I told him about how to block. All those ambiguous incoming mix up from a, just a, one layer left or right, you can block 100% of the time with an option. Exactly. Like but people still don't do it. It's 2023 now. It's, it's so so weird. People just don't do it. It's so fucking weird. And then people will be like, "How the fuck, yo? How the fuck did you block these things?" And I'm like, I just didn't even talk. At this point, it's such a common sense too to option select like block both of them. It's like, dude, seriously. This is uh, really uh, I don't know why people still get hit by it too. Mind you, there's a counter to the option select, but that means they need to deviate away from that incoming, right? As well. Um, I'm not sure if the announcement is going to be today, so I'm not going to be disappointed, but for sure there will be. A, a versus related yeah, announcement somewhere around the future. Here, I just don't know if it's, it's, it's evil. Enough. So it don't expect it here. Expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if they announced it here, but I would also be surprised if they announced it on a later date. So just. All right. Putting up a yeah. fight. 1 1 thus far. All right. Let's see if Evasion keep it together here. I mean, obviously yeah, because I'm thinking I'm a remaster, to be honest. In the beginning of these matches, I'm thinking a remaster of Marvel 3 then that, that buys them a year before they release the inevitable Marvel 4. But I can also expect they just release Marvel 4 as a cash grab anyways. Right? Because they've been working on it for a minute. I just don't know if they got the rights for some of the characters that they want from Marvel, right? But they got the functions already. The archetypes. Well, a patch will be insane, right? Imagine you patch this game. You don't understand how much you have to patch in this game. You might as well make a new game. Imagine if I was, like, in charge of like or one of the people who's in like who's gonna make decisions about what to change in this game granted i would not i would not be playing it competitively if you're inside that because that would be a conflict of interest right say like, cool that's fine you know how annoying that is you know like because you can't just like okay we're nerfing this guy we're buffing this guy we're nerfing this thing you have to look at the overall picture like there's something will break because you're buffing something so that means we'll be creating more synergies that would create potentially more problems that it could be game breaking. So it would require more testing in just general. Right? And then let's say like, okay, which one, what do you really nerf? Like I understand Zero and Morrigan is OP. I know Virgil is good, but Virgil, top tier, has counters, has ways around it. Okay, but okay, now you have zero more of them. Cool. How do you nerf them without destroying them? Because you can't just change that. Because if you nerf them, you've killed a significant amount of people who's played those characters for so many years. So it's a different kind of patching you're supposed to do. It's not supposed to be just gonna kill them. You just don't do that. You just can't do that. You know how many zero players are. It's just not right. You can't do that. Zero could be the game. So you gotta be a little bit more careful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, if you if you take the buff the low tier approach, right? That's technically the safer route, but by buffing them, it might create a next set of bullshit synergies that could potentially break the game. And since this game is very complex, it's gonna take a while before you actually discover those things. And the game might be out already, and we're not patching anymore. You feel me? And you just dis completely destroy the game. You, you know what I mean? Let's say we decided to buff, like, let's say, for instance, like a Shenko or um, a Phoenix Strike normal that gives them, like, an extra frame of something, a truck, you know, whatever the fuck it may be. And then we created an infinite block system or an infinite this. It creates a different infinite for that. The, the repercussions of everything is insane because this game is so deep. You change. You just give something one frame, 
in this game, it changes drastically across every board. It might open up an entire pressure string that motherfuckers can't block it anymore. Like, I'm telling y'all. Every single time, you can almost count on it. He has dropped the combo against Spencer. Wow, and he had the X to get out of there. Uh, and right now, it's looking good for a vision if a vision can just, you know, avoid getting yeah. touched during this X. Yeah. Uh, so no, we're just we talking about hypotheticals, guys. Nothing. Yeah. No, 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 they're not. Capcom has always been, like, always knew that Marvel needs to be crazy. Marvel needs to be Marvel. Marvel is not Street Fighter. It's the opposite of Street Fighter, right? So they never try to make this Street Fighter. So that alone, don't don't think about that. Marvel knows the recipe. Capcom in general. They know the recipe for that. The way you balance Marvel is, all the broken shit, every, the, there's so many broken shit in the game that it eventually all balances it out. Yeah, you know? It's not fair. You have a lot of unfair shit. Eventually, since everybody got unfair shit, then most of, most of it becomes balanced. But then you got some people with very few unfair shit. They become the weakest, you know? That's how Marvel works. Congratulations, Invasion. Invasion so hyped, yeah. it to the next round, you know, mm -hmm. Exactly. That's going to put him in the top four of the bracket. Top four at Evo already. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of yeah, the Yeah, Power game. Rangers was just a mess. Because that's just you know, pure set play across the board. Yeah, still a strong that was a mess of a fucking fighting game, to be honest with you. The Power Rangers? To get this far. I think it was and a mess. Biggest, most stacked there's very few neutral in that one and there's the fact that there's no super jump was fucking weird I feel like you're so constricted in a small area you have a normal jump and ground and you got all these crazy combos it's fucking crazy I'm talking about this. You don't want to be the guy who goes 0 and 2. Exactly. You know, it's, it's, exactly. it's a sad feeling to make it that far. What do you think about Sonic Fox? Exactly. Sonic Fox is amazing. Six on the winner's side. You don't want to just lose and then lose again. And he was able yeah. to turn it back around. He played a lot better than he did on the winner's side. Like I said, I think he just needed that little bit to kind of get his nerves going a little bit. Yeah, everybody literally has touch of yeah. death. And just some quick highlights to check out here. Look at that. Mundane getting clipped. But then again, I'm not as knowledgeable in that game. But I like that game, visually, at least. What's good, Combo Cash? How are you, buddy? did get a lot of chances with Spencer kind of getting dropped for every game. Evasion's kind of fortunate. He didn't have to pay too much for that. Yeah, so looking at the brackets right now, it's, you know, the tournament's coming close to an end. We have winners final. Um, I think it has something to do with the budget. And loser's semifinal will be... Evasion versus Liberal Terminator. Like having a bigger stage. Four for Evo here. It's not simple. Let's just, let's just make everybody jump now. Super jump. Let's make the stage bigger. And you think it's just going to work straight. Like, it does not work like that too. Right? You know, it's like a lot of things will change. In, in, you know, in the back end. So, yeah. I wish I would have seen you guys. I was at Evo, yo. I was hanging out with a lot of y'all, to be honest. Who did Sienna lose to in Street Fighter 6? Okay. Sien lost to a jury and a Marissa, which is his two worst matchups. Sien is very strong, as you guys all know, but he has problems against Marissa of all characters and also um, juries. It's quite unfortunate. He, ran, he had a bad bracket. Everybody had a matchup that they, they wish they don't have to fight, but, you know, they're not trying to avoid it, but they prefer not to fight it, right? Because it's, it, their win rate is not as high compared to their other matchups. And some players want to avoid JP, but... I think there was what was the stats? They have about twenty one JPs in the top ninety six, something like that, right? And then in the top one two, okay, at Evo seven thousand plus players, there were eight hundred JPs, more uh, more or less, minimum minimum seven hundred, seven hundred fifty, okay. One of the pools of my nephew, which is Hyro's son, Malik. Right, and Sherry's pool, there was like six JPs there in that alone. Okay. And it, literally, you look around, there's goddamn everybody's JP. The fucking guy, the bartender was a JP. Okay. The 
the um the house the housekeeping in my hotel. Shit, JP also fucking a master apparently. Um, what do we call that? The cashier at the uh, the gas the seven and six gas station, right? Was a JP player as well. It was a match like fifty k points already. Oh, what's the name of that? Um, the host from Gen Barbecue, um, Gen Korean Barbecue, next to Luxor. Um, he was a JP player as well. So he has like about forty plus k. So that shit was insane to me. It's like every person that I've seen are fucking JP players all over the all over the place. It doesn't have to be at Evo. Outside of Evo, motherfucking JP players are out. They're out and about, guys. I'm telling y'all, they're all about them things. Fucking JP. And I think, guys, they are patching Street Fighter 6, bro. I know Capcom said they're not going to patch it anytime soon until after Cat CPT. But I'm telling you, that motherfucking character is going to get patched in the next month. I feel it. And also we have new it's gonna be bad. Designs for the King of Fighters 15, Guilty Gear, Tekken, and other FGC partners. It's gonna be bad. JP is getting patched, bro. Only the best material for maximum comfort and style. Trust me, you don't want to wait to cop these. But everybody plays JP. Oh, you did, Kurzo. Good stuff, man. Raekwon, thank you, thank you, thank you. This stuff. How do you nerf? I would not destroy JP because he's uh he's a majority. Um, he's not. It's a very popular character. So you're gonna hurt about eleven percent of the player base of the game, right? So you're not supposed to make him unplayable. The best way to do it is nerf amnesia to not be twenty frames active. That's just insane. You do a delay button, it fucking still does it, right? So just make it ten frames, I guess, like um active, and. Have some scaling if it hap if it were if it connects. It does not make sense that he does forty percent if you go for a fucking heavy or a grab and he does amnesia. Shit doesn't make sense that he gets forty percent meterless. You feel me? Like what the fuck? Not not any no DP no EX reversal in the game can do that and get a setup after. Because after that amnesia he gets a full setup boom 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 whatever. Takes a full screen, full setup, right? There's no other reversals like that. So I think you just nerf that. You nerf the damage. You add some scaling there. You know, nerf amnesia's active frames to just 10 frames. So that's not really gonna make any difference. And then nerf some of the. Let me see. I want to keep the character intact too. That he's still playable the same. The but let me see, what's the other the one? So you gotta lower his damage evolution. across the board. So if you just lower his damage by 10% each, everything else will be okay. 10%. And you guys gonna think, oh, that's you? That's not that huge. No, it's, that's huge. 10% is huge. That's the difference between being Rashid or Ken. And damage. Blue River, a classic. Definitely, definitely, definitely an damage. Two styles here. One a little yeah. bit more simplistic. Ten percent. High octane, and another one that's just more technical, high damage. I mean, sorry, technical, but just very high damage. But both playing the same game essentially. Got this. One player game. Exactly, exactly. Just different styles, like you said. One's okay. One's so first of all, this is the dream matchup for Jabril. Right, but you know, we say, oh, and we say he's gonna win this three one. We got the super strategy here. He was only a teenager. I don't he only he needs. He only needs one thing. Is to survive the first six seconds, not five, six. Because after the five seconds, within the five seconds is the start the ready fight, and then there's a the next decision there after he gets the back dash. So, because King gets two chances, so he just needs to eliminate both those chances, and then he wins this at default. Assuming King does not get a happy birthday, you know. But yeah, I think he wins this default. Anyways, I don't think he loses this at all. It's really comfortable. Yeah, get comfortable. Yep, I like that. I like that. Might get comfortable. Yeah, Kane is like a train running full yeah, Get nervous, Kane. He's cracking Kane. like a true Humpty you Dumpty. Come on, kill this man. Out of the way. Yeah, yep, he's, he's, he's worried. That, right? Look at this man wearing shorts. Kill him. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you're a Hulk player, a Thor player, 1.2. 
Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a Phoenix player with 400 or less. You know, it doesn't matter. He can take care of you. But you know what? Cain Blue River's been here. He's been on the stage before. He's reached the mountaintop. Don't you fucking look at the camera, okay? Like. Jabril, though, the pressure may be just on him. Jabril killed this man. More. You can see it. You can see it on Jabril's face, you know? He, he's definitely taking some deep breaths, really meditating, really trying to stay in that zone. <laughs> KBR just there like, yeah, I'm ready to get this. Exactly. Yeah, right? <laughs> KBR just lapping it up, giving directions to the bathroom, to the production guy. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know, he's here chilling. He said, I've been here before. I know what it's like. Yeah, he's like, I'm just going to do what I do. You know, round start, game over. You know? <laughs> Look at that. He doesn't care. He's checking his Twitter, his Instagram, whatever he wants to do. He Come on, man. Here. You got to win this he's shit. On this stage. Can Jabril pull this off though and get his I emo. I am enjoying the tension though. I'm enjoying I didn't enter Marvel. Like, you know, one is so relaxed, one is so chill, and the other one is just like Oh my god, what's that up, that Sanford? Hi duck, hello guys. Oh my god, the OGs are here. The OG Marvel 2 gods are here, guys. This is about the exciting winners final, guys. Oh yeah, no surprises on the picks, obviously. We already know hey guys. these guys play. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I do believe the advantage on the matchup is hugely on Jabril's side. Uh, he still has to guess build. twice, though, Tom, Jabril at the start. The battle, and that negates more. skill. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yup. Backdash. Uh-huh. GG. Yup. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. GG. Next game. Shake his hand, King. It's over. Yep, it's over. You know how many times you fucking had to practice that shit? Shit is over already, okay? okay? You ain't gonna touch this fucking zero with some Hulk shit. Okay? You ain't about to create some scrambles here, bruh. You got a Sugembu here, bro. Wanna see this Sugembu? This has been documented and planned, okay? It's not gonna work. It's GG already. Yep, we ain't gonna overextend. Ever. Uh huh. Why did you stay there against the man with a pipe? You got a sword and a gun. The guy got a pipe. Why are you next to him? I'm so mad. 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 You have a sword, a gun, a lightsaber. A clone. The man has a pipe. He's a plumber. Why are you next to him? He super jumped like this. You dash under. Call Dante here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Repeat. I did say that he's gonna get a game, so I hope that was the first and last. Yep, relax. Yep, it's okay. Yeah, these motherfuckers get lucky. Shut the fuck up, Kane. Okay. Motherfucker, okay, shut the fuck up. I just like how KBR, he just knows, he's like... Don't make me come back and just to whoop your ass, okay? Oof. I'm so heated. I'm so heated. I need to calm down. I'm so... I need to calm down. I need to focus on Street Fighter. We're gonna play Street Fighter. Don't worry about Marble, Ryan. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Let's not get trapped by the Marble Vortex. Because what happens here is we are about to forget Street Fighter if we get hooked with this Marble shit. My fucking hands are sweaty. Piss the fuck off. Okay? Okay, there you go. We're at, we're back. We're back. Mm-hmm. There you go. The five seconds has passed. Mm-hmm. To get boo. And, and bro, nicely, uh, you know, creating space there, pushing Kane back. The game but plan. The game plan is... It's slowly but surely. Kane is closing it uh, uh, in. We need to shoot some shit. What? There you go. Kane, Kill this man. Shoot some shit. Shoot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Remember the next step. The win condition of this character, the next guy coming in, is to random launcher, a random heavy, and a hard drive. Avoid all three of them. No chance of winning. GG. Yep. See how they got you back up there? Uncharacteristic drop from Jabril, but he's able to pick it right back up. And you saw that Kane called it Hagar. He called it Hagar. Hagar got hit by Virgil. The assist traded. 
Okay. Okay, now the plumber is out. What are we gonna do against the plumber? Uh, yeah, that's right. One mix. Don't let this fucking plumber touch you, okay? He's a dirty fucking plumber, bruh. He's one of those plumber that you call in your house, but he goes to your wife's fucking drawer and steals some of... Never mind. Okay, this is a dirty plumber. Mm-hmm. Kill this man. Kill this man. Ugh. Kill this fucking plumber. Yeah, slow it the fuck down. Don't let this man win. We have two... One player game. Oh, player. So mad. I am so you <sighs> We need to start some Street Fighter. We need to start. I need to see here listen to some Street Fighter music so I can go back to my Street Fighter mindset. Marvel gets me. Marvel gets me going. KBR was actually doing better in game two in the neutral, but as he worked his way in, Jabril was kind of looking forward to that. And my blood is just... Get that game too. Yeah, KBR jumped up, went for the air throw, and got hit by a pizza cutter, Pressure. and then that was all she wrote, right? It's a bit high. Oh, man. I, five seconds? Oh, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. The five seconds, baby. Uh-huh. One more second. Okay, we're out. Five seconds. It's easy already. Uh-huh. Stay away! Just wasn't able to capitalize all the way. And now it's Jabril's turn. Stay away from the fucking plumber. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Kill number one, kill Shrek. Okay? Kill Shrek. Then you kill the plumber. Don't worry about the robot. Robot only has three options, you got 50,000. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue. Okay, one layer only. Uh huh. There you go, one layer. We don't overextend. Because if you know, if you overextend, you might X Factor, you mash a grab or a launch or anything, and you lose. Very yeah. Cleanly. Okay. You run away from the goddamn plumber. Okay. Character after character getting wiped. Run away from the plumber. Don't let this motherfucker. Go to your wife's drawers. Okay, good, 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 good. Run away. Yup. See the fucking plumber? You see what he be doing? He be hitting everybody. He's trying to hit your boy. Yup. Stay away from the. Jabril, Jabril, Jabril. Uh huh. Yep. Let him do. It. Let him hit him! It's all good! Let him kill- oh. this time. And Zero gets popped too! Ah! Oh my god, ah! the are so hard over here! Ah! Yeah, just the plumber! Oh my god! Air pipe, air pipe, and then we're gonna have Zero explode! Ah! Okay, we got a game, guys, we got a game. Dante, can you- Peter, shut the fuck up! Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh my god, the plumber! Just pay him anything you- Oh my god, just pay him anything he wants. Anything you want. These motherfuckers, what do you mean? What do you mean? Fucking best of something. <sighs> but you know what? Time to delete Tom Mokin as my friend. I don't like his comments. I'm gonna delete his number right now, guys. A second, I just need to vent out. <sighs> He's my friend. Can he be doing I'm about to delete him on Facebook and follow him on Twitter. This is just bad. Hold up. Give it a second, okay? This motherfucker be cheering for the wrong human being. Okay, good. I don't have his number anymore, okay? I deleted him. He ain't my friend anymore. He ain't my friend, guys. He ain't my friend. Yo, what's up, Zero Blast? What's good? We don't have... Tom Fiend ain't our friend, okay? He ain't our friend anymore. Okay, we muted him, so I don't have to hear that shit. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, alright. Oh, he's getting pinned down. Oh, Jabril! Ah! Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, coming down with that ball. Think okay, let's just, can we just win? We just win here and make sure this goddamn plumber don't charge us three times. We already paid this man twice for the same job. This man don't even wear a shirt. And having so much life, forcing so many resources 
out of zero, but let's see if uh, the robot is free as usual. Don't worry about the robot. Don't overextend. Shit is free. Uh huh. Yep. Don't worry about the robot. This is not the. This is not a competition. It's that fucking Mario guy. Okay, the buff Super Mario plumber dude. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cleaning him up. Uh huh. Okay. Hagar, is this your chance for another comeback? No, he ain't coming back, Peter. I'm about to mute your ass if I hear that shit again. This time he's just gonna let Dante take the damage there. Mm hmm. There you go. Yep. Shoot him. Shoot this man. Look at him. He's not. He's wearing shorts. Slowly. What the fuck? Shoot this man. Jabril, Jabril, we just need one more bar. There you go. So Gambu, get out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Don't call jam session. Call fucking round trip. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Kill this fucking plumber. He didn't even wear some fucking pants. Yeah, kill this man. That's right. Take your time. Don't press start. Go to character selector stream. Drink everybody's water. Take your time. A lot of people would say that this is Jabril's Evo to lose. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think people were taking into account KBR Ooh. coming out of the woodworks and showing you that he's still a threat. He's an evil champ for a reason. You know what, Come up in. I don't want to hear you praising this man, KBR, okay? Where am I? We should be rooting for Jabril. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. These commentators, they ain't our friend, okay? They ain't our friend. Guys, 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 guys. Don't let this fucking plumber win this match, okay? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Nat? How are you? Okay, okay! Super jump, get out! It's over, it's over! I mean, at least we kill Shrek. We kill Shrek. Kill Shrek! The robot is usually free, but don't get too confident. And then we're gonna kill the plumber once again. Take it slow. Don't fuck this shit up. If you drop this combo, you die. Kill Shrek. You used to. Yeah, every time. Don't overstand. Three things. Launcher, or One layer. One layer! Damn. Kill this man. Do not fuck around. You'll find out if you fuck with this plumber, bro. This man stole your wife's underwear, bro. He's supposed to, to fix your sink, man. He went under your wife's drawers. Yes! Punish him! Don't drop it. We've lost in the past before against this fucking plumber. Don't drop the goddamn combo because he's mashing Lariat right now. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There you go. Yep. One more, one more. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let me increase that volume, Kama Queen. Let me increase the volume. Wow. Let me hear it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. What the fuck? Still KBR fantastic? How about Jabril is great? I'm gonna text my boy Jabril right now. Nice. Yep. Your composure. Breathe. Take your time. Every fucking game. That was a bit shaky. Hmm. Mm. Now you just need to really relax. <laughs> I just departed your words repeated. Bullshit guaranteed. Yep, exactly, dude. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. Don't say hi to Combo Fiend. Don't say hi to Combo Fiend. Ever. Mm hmm. Yep. Why are you asking about Combo Fiend? Don't worry about it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep. Just got a cool. Down. You got this. Relax and just watch 
videos and think about your approach. Remember, your default just wins. Don't deviate from the game plan ever. Congrats. Okay, we got it. We muted Combo Fiend, guys. He's our enemy. Remember, Combo Fiend, be rooting for the wrong person, okay? Yeah, I've been a coach for a minute, but yeah, this is what we do. Yep, Combo Fiend is our enemy, guys. You'd be rooting for the wrong person, okay? I deleted his phone number, everything, okay? I deleted it already, 100% deleted. That mundane, you know, he was he was a little more conservative in his approach and, and mind you, find a way I love combo fame Asian, very much. Was okay. I may, I might so, currently you know, hate we'll him right now. Okay. Yeah, both of these Let guys, me see who are you rooting for right now, here, combo fame. Who are you rooting for? Don't make a mistake here. You only root for this guy. And both of these guys being in top four actually no. for the first time is such a huge I mean, accomplishment. I, I don't for both evasion is pretty good. I like yeah, evasion too. That but I, I like L T better. History. You know, you feel me? Yo Jay, what's board, what's good, Jay? Shows that, you know, the hard what's up, man? Off, that, you know, they're playing their eight. I like these little East no, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I've been a coach, you know, swear. I, mean, the first time they get to do this, I, I love coaching. It's uh, pretty fun. So this is what we do all the time. Like does does production tell them to do that? Sometimes, ah. sometimes I wonder. It's okay. You guys can all have your opinions on you know, who you guys want to win. It's right okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just not okay for Combo Fiend, okay? Combo Fiend needs to be rooting for whoever. Whoever I'm rooting for, okay? But somehow, being one of the best players in the world in a 12-year-old game. No, 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 no. Doc, it's the same as, as Marvel 2. When you when when Justin and Sanford and Yipes slowed down, then you know, you were there, you never stopped because you're always been I think Doc is the second greatest of all time in Marvel 2. Okay, I'm telling you, I've always said that. I, but when they were inactive, you guys have new amazing players, right? You got chaos, etc. You know, so it, I think it's just how the things progress in general. You know, it's just the way it is. I think I think Duck is second, and then I think it's Sanford and Yeg tied for third. I think so. That's just my opinion. Though. I can be wrong for sure, but that's just my opinion. But you know, you guys can have your different takes as well. We're talking about yeah, really, like overall, really like, like body of work. Okay, uh, I'm talking like body of work overall, guys. And you know, it's up, it's gonna be up to Mind you, you can uh, the, the, obviously those four body, basically is body. the easy Mount Rushmore, right? Easy Mount Rushmore of Marvel Two, right? Both of these guys know each other so well. They played each other. So I love Rotron, many man. Come on now. Years, yes, online, these new online, players are like your new players. Majors. At house, and some of these players were still were playing stage, back then, but they weren't as the good because they were getting cock blocked it's before they get there. Yeah. So, like I said, I would say most wild, of them actually, right? this could ruin friendships, okay? <laughs> except for this guy, <laughs> the the player too, no the liberal no terminator. He's 18 years old. So, this is his first competitive game. He has been playing ever since he was like a baby. I feel. But yeah, he loves Marvel, and yeah, he basically started off online, and then now he branched out to going offline, and he's one of the best players right now. So I'm telling you guys, the only person that can beat Jabril is LT. When I say can, I'm not saying will, but can beat. So. If Evasion beats him, it's a wrap. Jabril wins Evo already, okay? Don't worry about KBR, okay? But the Grand Finals will be super hype if it's LT versus Jabril. If it's this guy versus Jabril. We'll be very happy. We'll be very, very close. You don't want KBR, okay? You guys don't want KBR. You want Jabril. You know, games with games with your friends are always a little bit different than games against other people. You know? No, 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 no. Wait, has 
There's no ZMC, right? That's the one Evo yet, right? If we had Flocker who won, but, but that's like zero Virgil, does that count as ZMC? I guess he can somehow count that. Zero one Evo, for sure. But zero obviously plays so too high every tournament, right? I, what, I know he had Hawkeye, but you have zero Virgil. What is this about Tareka being related to Eduardo? Yeah, everybody keeps saying that Tareka looks like PR Borrowed. If, if KBR win, good for the FGF legacy, huh? I don't think KBR winning would have any effect towards my legacy, right? I would be very... Either way, I only... If KBR wins, good for him. Good for him. Right? I'm not, the, I'm not the Ryan playing right now. I'm Ryan coach. Naturally, I should root for the people, for the players that I'm coaching, right? Right? But if KBR hits me up and wants some coaching, I'm gonna block his number, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't play at Evil Batman, I did. But like, who's this? Hey, F champ, this is KBR. Like, uh, okay. How did you get my number? Um, I got it from Combo Fiend. Oh, shut the fuck up! Boom, 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 dude. You know what I mean? Block both Combo Fiend and KBR. All together. All of them. All of them. Block both of those fuckers. You know, block both of them. At that point, it's just, I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm just surprised there's no yipes, there's no Neo in the grand finals. And mind you, I love Kamafin on the mic. Kamafin's amazing in Marvel mic, okay? Because he commentated the entire final round many, many times. NCRs. Kamafin's great. He has understanding about the game is really, really well, right? I don't think Tong is a commentator for Marvel. I think Tong is amazing organizer. You know, it's kind of like a Team Spooky. Team Spooky can commentate, same as Tong can commentate, but he's he wouldn't not he would not be the best option. You feel me? For the World Finals, if you know what I mean. Like I just prefer Yipes. And I don't think I'm there's any shade to, being thrown towards Tong there, right? I just want Yipes. Okay, I want Neo. Okay, but if you guys give me combo fiend, I take that. I like that. You guys gotta understand, LT is very, very strong, very, very good. But this is his first Evo top eight, right? In a way, and he's 18 years old. So. Playing in that stage can fight. Can be overwhelming at times. So you gotta also put that in the back. There. It's like kind of like what we talked about how Daigo, online when you fight Daigo, he feels like a fucking 25, 35k master, right? But when you fight him offline, he feels like a fucking 350k master. The difference is just extant. You know, so, so. It, that, that's the difference in online and offline. Yeah, see? Damn, we have two ZMCs in the top three. Sounds fair, huh? What do you guys think? Yeah, the thing is, the thing is, obviously, we everybody knows Zero is the best character in the game, right? Obviously, or Morgan, one or the other. But the Morgan players, RF, got smoked by Iron Fist. Ryan LB lost it to that same person, right? Wolverine. But Chris G is inactive in Marvel 3. He just entered for the heck of it, but he didn't play, he didn't practice at all. I would know this because you were supposed to practice together if we were if we were to compete. But I decided not to practice Marvel because I want to focus on Street Fighter. Yeah. And just do coaching instead um, for Marvel 3. So, 
I think that's better. Evasion's gonna have to get some fans if he ends up winning Evo, right? But he's gonna have to go against KBR first. He's gotta get past KBR if either one of them wants a chance at Jabril to try to get this Evo championship. Chris, Chris is focusing on Street Fighter, yeah, in other games, yes, but not Marvel. You guys gotta understand, it's hard to be motivated to play Marvel 3, right? If you if you won quite a lot as well, kind of like Chris G, myself, you know, we want to move on to a different game, you know, and we love the game. I love this game, you know, and it's my favorite fighting game. But there comes to a point that maybe I should play other other games, which I've had in the past, you know, and you know, does not mean like I might never come back to it. I'm just like for now, I wanna I wanna play Street Fighter, you know, you feel me? But does not mean that I'm not supporting the game or you know. Just not entering. And mind you, I've only been gone for like three, for two years. Because the last time I was playing is 2021 when I was watching all of these guys on Parsec, right? Like legit watching all of them. But, but you know, we're done. We're, I don't want to play anymore because I don't want to play Parsec as well. I don't like that. I have to connect the servers and do all these things. If Marvel 3 was offline or I can play online with rollback, best believe I'm playing Marvel 3 every fucking day and we will not even turn on Street Fighter anymore. To be absolutely to be absolutely honest with you. If they announce that they're gonna have a Marvel 3 rollback, bruh. We are uninstalling Street Fighter 6 tonight. Okay? Give me Mar Marvel 3, rollback. I'm uninstalling the game tonight. Okay? Yes. Is that fair? I'm uninstalling it right now. Okay? If they announce that shit. Give me the rollback. Marvel 3. It's a wrap, bro. Project L for sure works Street Fighter 6. Yes. I'm, I told you guys. When I play Street Fighter, Street Fighter has always been a placeholder for me. I can... I just can't good... I just can't, like, get good at fighting games in general, but... Street Fighter has never been my main game. It's just something that I'm just good doing, right? But I don't like playing Street Fighter. I, I don't like it as much, you know? I love fighting games in general, so I can tolerate Street Fighter. And that's why I have an expiration of my attention span playing Street Fighter. You know, maximum two to three years to play Street Fighter, any version. But I love Marvel games in general, you know? So Project L is a lot closer to Marvel than Street Fighter is, because Street Fighter is the opposite of Marvel, you know? Project L is kind of sort of in between, so I'm kind of excited for that. I'm excited for that one for sure. I'm also excited for the team dynamic. Having a teammate that, you know, that, that you're gonna be working with, like, as a, te as, a, as, as, as a unit together will be awesome, right? That would be so, that would be so cool. I, I don't know who gonna, who truly is gonna be my main teammate, but I know that I'm gonna have multiple, like, players to play with as my team, right? But as like your main teammate, I do not have one that I'm thinking about, you know? Cause like the easy choice would be Justin, but Justin will be busy um, with content. I don't think he's doing 100% comp I mean, competing, right? Chris G will be perfect as well, I think. But basically I need a maniac of a teammate. Because this is what's gonna happen. If I'm playing 16 hours a day and my teammate is like, I'm texting, what the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm just watching some Netflix and deleted on the friends list. You know what I'm saying? We need a maniac. You feel me? We need a maniac, a teammate, okay? We need somebody who's playing a lot, you know? Yeah. KBR? No way. Wouldn't that be the right thing? The best thing ever? Hold on. Why is... Where's... Where's Ducks? I need to find Ducks. There we go. Never had... I mean, I never had patch. We just had to deal with... Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you cannot balance out old games. The absolute... Let me make Duck as a VIP a second. Uh, you cannot balance old games at all. You're gonna destroy so many things that if, if you do it, you might destroy the actual meta or the game in general too. Many people have invested so many years of their time into their character, and then if you nerf it and they become unplayable, you're gonna lose more player than add players. So that's why it's hard to balance an old game. So you're supposed to balance new games and have a consistent, like, 
scheduled balance update. If you're gonna balance it, make it consistent. Don't stop, right? But if you don't have plans for that, like after a certain while, you can't balance it anymore. Kind of like Marvel 3, the first six months, they balanced a few things, right? And after that, they changed, you know, and that was it. Yeah, what if I team up with KBR though? What do you guys have? What do you think happens if I team up with KBR? Would that be the best thing ever? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think, look, imagine. I think, you know what? Let's try that. I think, I think, yeah, I'm gonna ask KBR. I'm gonna ask KBR. I'd be like, yo, Kane, um, would you wanna play a few rounds? Um, not not like 1v1 because you already know what's going to happen but as my teammate in the project l and then you know maybe we are compatible right you know something like that and then you play and then it's like all right so i'm gonna I'm invite and also i need you to i need you to join discord and he joins discord okay i just can't see like selfie i don't know because we're just gonna be yelling at each other i said motherfucker i told you not to jump in Tag me the fuck in! What are you doing? Like, you know? And then I get so mad with him. I do not, you know, I got mad because he didn't tag me in the last game and we lost. Welcome now I, everyone. now I'm first. I would never tag him in. I'm gonna try to win by myself, right? So I don't think that's gonna work. You know? <laughs> I see, I see a few times, yes. A Discord delay. <laughs> no, no, no. My teammate, for sure, multiple. I, like, I have multiple options for teammate. I'm not really worried about that part. To be honest with you, Sien, Sien would be a very good teammate as well. I need somebody as technical as me. Because I want it to be technical team. Because it playing, playing games like... Most modern games that are very fast... Cause like okay, Marvel Two is very freestyle, right? They are not. Their modern games are not as freestyle. They're really heavy on frame data, which is a huge difference from the previous games. And you know, like CBS Two, right? And Marvel Two, Third Strike are all freestyle. I swear. Like, but then now when you go to the modern games like Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Five, Marvel Three, and so on, all of them are super down to the frame. There's no variable frames. Like there's no like hailstorm comes down and every frame changes like like randomly right and there's no like the hyper viper beam when it's never can you know like the hits and how it goes you know it's like everything is set so it's a lot closer to to that there's no like RNG on things everything can be 100% replicated and punished as well so you, so with modern games you want something somebody that's super technical like as well so. I mean, at least for me, as my teammate, I prefer that way. Because I don't mind being a support or being a carry at any point, right? I, I'm okay with that. I don't care about any of those titles. I just want the W. That's what matters. Yeah. Yeah, um, Project L is 2v2. It's 2v2, 100%. There's no version that that's going to be 1v1. It's going to be an option. There's a 1v1, but 100% is 2v2. That is exactly Riot's template. One thing about team games in general is that the reason why it's really popular compared to 1v1 games, because in team games, there's an ego protection already intact. Oh, I lost. My fucking teammate sucks. That's why. You know how like that in League, Valorant, you know? It's always like that. There's an ego protection built in. That's why people can keep them playing because they're just gonna keep blaming anybody else but themselves. But pros are not doing that. Pros are just gonna blame themselves like, we fucked up. I, mean, I think we should be better at this. We should do this. And naturally, I have that. I, I do have that mindset in every time I play fighting games. But if my teammate is KBR and we lose, I, it's only his fault. You know, you feel me? It's only KBR's fault. He's the only one making mistakes here. 
FY here. <laughs> Team FGTV and Project Oh yeah. No, I'm saying 100% is teamwork is the one that makes a gives you so much more. Like because there's like a teammate that you're super compatible with, and then your synergy together, like being sync. Oh, I already know what my boy's doing, so I'm gonna do this because I already know he's doing this. You guys are sync. You guys are practice. Personality also matches. Those things matter in team games. So it's really weird. Let me tell you a story. You know, obviously I've been part of a lot of pro teams in esports and when they're interviewing players to recruit for like a CS team, you know, Counter Strike or you know MOBA team in you know during my splice and complexity um complexity gaming, you know, and splice um when they're trying to get like a fifth person, sixth person part of their team roster, in order for that person to be fully recruited, mind you they have multiple candidates they have to do interview extensive and then they have to send out the esports psychiatrist to determine if his this person's personality would match well with the other members of the team is that is that crazy i'm telling you this is like it's so crazy like i'm telling you i had a fucking hand doctor bro it was i did, mind you i didn't use this shit. i didn't use any of those stupid benefits i didn't use any of those stupid things mind you the doctor and all the benefits that i had was from the same benefits as a professional hockey player that plays for um, the Boston Bruins because my team was owned by Boston Bruins, right? Splice, C Sports. So I didn't use any of those benefits, but I'm saying it's like that. They use the sports approach to esports in general. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eduardo would be a great teammate too, but we're gonna argue it here and there, which is great argument, by the way, because he has amazing work ethic. Yo, have you guys seen the bottom part of this? Look, there's a Marvel duplicate in this in Twitch. Look, I see some Marvel stuff here. See, there's a, just like a mirroring thing. You see my mouse, right? It's like, there's like another stuff here under the Chipotle. That's not me. That's them. FY. This is quite. I prefer actually KBR winning this because I want KBR versus um, Jabril in the grand finals. It's better for the game. But evasion winning would be easy for Jabril, but how easy? I don't think Jabril sweats against evasion. I just don't think so. Bro, you know that doesn't work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, GG. He lost. He lost. He's gonna DH to this dude. And he's gonna try to count counter attack. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. Yeah, it don't matter though. It's no X Factor. It's hard for him to get a kill. He needs to get a full pipe hit or a grab. That's hard to get. Yeah. GG already. You lose Hagar or Sentinel on this team, you lose already. Virgil is too good. You get a backdash, throw them things, teleport, boom. Okay. Uh, he's calling assist. Doesn't matter really. Hulk cannot beat these characters. Hulk is good as a point character, but not good anywhere else. Because he needs support. He has a lot of openings. So that's so unfortunate. But that's how it is in general. This is way better if evasion has got to not bust out unless up, I think. Yeah. Here comes evasion doing zero things. Um, just play the standard and deviate when you feel like you want to close or get a 2 0. Like. And play it as if 
it's only one set. Don't be too comfortable because you are in winners. Yeah, do not deviate. I think that's the best way to play this too. Because like, Kane is done here. He's iced already. He, he lost hope. I mean, El is the plumber here? The plumber's back? No, um, what do you call this? That's okay. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Um, Jabril is well deserve of winning Evo, by the way. It's been it's been consistent throughout the last two years, right? So it's not a big surprise if he wins Evo. Basically, if LT wins Evo or Jabril. It would not be a surprise. You feel me? So the those two, those two are quite, and it's so nice to see to have two ZMCs in the grand finals when the entire time in the game we've been saying that ZMC is the best team in the game, or zero Virgil, obviously, whatever, right? But even though I don't think ZMC is the best team in the game, by the way, I don't think so. I think the best, just good showing game. Much, much respect and love. Get this guy combo thing. Get this guy combo thing. There we go. Let's just wait. Let's wait. I didn't want to hear some combo thing comments about our boy KBR, okay? Is he done with KBR? For so many years. Yeah, yeah, but you know. The reality is, tears are tears for a reason, you know? You can only get so far with your heart. Okay, great, 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 great. Before, you know, the game Zero Doom Virgil, okay, gotta, Morgan Doom Virgil, Morgan Phoenix world, teams but, are better than CMCs. Like. <laughs> Please. So, because there's like, in Marvel 3, there's multiple tiers of top tiers. Okay, it's like a double S tier, S tier, S plus, right, etc. So, but then if you just put them on normal tiers, I believe I made a tier list of that back then. Um, yeah. And mind you, KBR's team is top tier, but not, you know, it's top tier because of synergy. Okay, top tier because of synergy. Not like top to same tier as those teams that I mentioned, don't get twisted. It's the same tier as the Spencer Nova teams. They're good enough to win, okay, but not... Zero would not dominate every other team. Same as um, Apology Man's team. You feel me? Like, it's good enough to win. It's complete because of synergy. But it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's not top of the top tier list, right? Because there's multiple combinations with a lot of characters. And 90% of the cast are usable in, in pro level, right? Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite interesting. Of trying to win an Evo here in Grand Final. Zero Mori Doom. Well, I mean, it would be incomplete, but it would, it would just well. be straight up. Uh, but also, is coming, probably coming probably the side, slightly better than the. Okay, that team, well. Zero Morrigan and, uh, Doom you know, team, is the same team. tier as the Morrigan Magneto and Doom team. Cleaner and cleaner okay, cleaner, it's good. Like, you know, it's top tier, but, you know, it's incomplete. It's front heavy. You don't have anchors and shit. Exactly. Able to pick it right you can beat any other team, job. mind you. It's just saying, but, you, know, you will have said, a few bad matches. KBR Sentinel is... It's a support. KBR's team is basically Hulk with two assists. Super yeah, Invincible Hulk, right? Because you Invincible Super the, Armor yeah, and Hagar's team. When with drone, super overwhelming outside. to kill to, all neutral skips and set play. Very strong. Super Hulk. It's kind of like a Super Hulk team. And then with a backup of um the plumber, right? Pretty good. Pretty good dynamic of a team, right? Pretty good dynamic. You have a backup, and then you got what's saying um. Yeah, his team is like a super sent super magmor magdorm doom. It's the same tier as the Morrigan Morrigan Magneto Doom. Yeah. And top tiers is quite a lot. There's like three tiers I've made. Four. I think four tiers I've made. Yeah. And then you got my team, which is Magneto Doom Phoenix. Obviously that team's S tier. But that's 
that's like a tier. It's like a slight a tier below ZMC or the same tier as ZMC. When I say that, it's not because I'm playing the team, but that team is so versatile. The fact that when I say this is this. Most Magneto Doom teams, like with a Virgil or Dormammu, they're usually stuck with one with one assist of Doom that they have to use. Because the second character relies on the Doctor Doom assist as well. But all of them are a set team, right? Like a Virgil team would not want to have a Rox assist, would want to have missiles, right? Like a Mag Doom Virgil, right? Would want to have missiles or beam. Like a Mag Doom Phoenix team can play, should be able to play all three all three assists in general and it's the best magneto team i think because magneto does not use a lot of meter and and you can build meter for phoenix and if and it gives your magneto more life because they some games they would snap phoenix in so i like that team a lot it's a lot of value to your magneto you know in that one so that team is quite strong actually and it dominates a lot of matchups as well if played right you know? Yeah. So all the Phoenix tech has been out there. It didn't really matter. It's up to the Phoenix player to know how to stop it. It's about when you play Marvel, it's about there's many things that you can't stop in the game. Like when the shit happens, it starts already, you can't stop it. There's no way around it. Okay? But what you can do is plan. With this thing, like in this game, you need to plan before that happens or play play to a certain way so it goes to a different direction that it that situation does not happen you know so so it's preventing a, a, a situation or a new one from happening it's really it's really a challenge in this game so there's <clears throat> quite a lot of those bro i don't even understand why those sticks are so expensive you know if some characters were removed from the tournament, who would they be? I would not want to remove any characters in the game. Sean Morgan Phoenix is S tier. Probably one of the best teams in the game. Top four for sure. 100%. Don't get me wrong, it's not Morgan, it's not Chun, okay? It's the Morgan Phoenix duo. It's too strong, okay? You just need, you can replace the Chun with Dr. Doom, Magneto, Beautiful Joe. Trish, Storm, you can put anybody there in the front. Yo, Yipes, what's up, brother? How are you? Yipes, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Bro, this, yo, I need you to go there and kick Tong out and commentate with our boy Combo Fiend. This shit sucks. Strider is top tier, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tier list after this again of teams. Pretty straightforward. And put it on YouTube, Aaron. Strider's top tier. You're insane. You're making a team tier list of Marvel 3. Okay? Team. Strider, it. You think about this. Marvel 3 is consists of three things, okay? There's an early game, mid game, and end game. End game is about the anchors, etc., right? And planning before them are really important. Strider here is the third best anchor in the game. Okay? You can argue between Phoenix and Virgil being the best anchor, but I think it's Phoenix is the best anchor in the game. Unfortunately, you don't get to have her every game, right? But you get to have Virgil every game. So, I'm saying, you can argue, but the Phoenix one is by far, I think, is the strongest. If you hurry to get her every game. So, third best. Mind you, Strider, which is the third best anchor, beats Phoenix. Which is crazy. Damn, Evasion playing great, man. What's up, Yipsy? Let me message you guys. I'm going to message him right now. Just message me on Facebook. 
<laughs> what if Marvel 3 was seasonal, like Street Fighter? Um, they need to... It depends on how long or how many seasons they're going to have. If it's just one season, they don't change anything. If you're going to have at least three or five seasons, then yes, go for patches. Hi, Kareka. How are you, buddy? My man. Play some games with people, bruh. I hope you play with... I went, I hope you went to Alex Baez's Salty Suite at the Hawaiian Suite. I hope you enjoyed it. Up, apes. Think about it, guys. An evil grand finals. Evil finals and IFC is, is not on the mic for Marvel. There's something wrong about that. Like, not having Neo alone is fucked up already. This time we don't even have Yipes. That shit's insane. Yo, we need to voice our opinions on Twitter about this. This is fucking crazy. They brought our game, but we don't have the main guys. Yeah, we need to voice our opinions about this. Obviously, everybody wants Yipes there, right? I don't know if there's anybody here in the chat that probably don't, probably disagrees that Yipes should be commentating this, should be on the mic, should be the MC, then, you know, that's your opinion. But I'm saying, I'm pretty sure the grand majority of people in the fighting game community would vote for Yipes and Neo should be there. I know. Apparently, some scheduling conflict. He's like, we want the best all the time there, you know? We want yikes. And it's gotta be weird. We see Yipes in Street Fighter, but we don't see Yipes in Marvel. There's just something wrong there with that picture. You feel me? Like, not having Yipes in the mic for Marvel is just ridiculous. Congratulations, Jabril. I told you you're gonna win this shit. What headset do I use? This one? Oh, this is the Sony something XB. I think this was like... I forgot what it's called. It's, the, it's like, it's the, it's the noise canceling one. It's those, those random overpriced headsets that's like noise canceling. Yeah, it's XB or something something. Now yeah, he ain't gonna lose, bro. Was I right every step of the way, except for the plumber getting two games? He gets, I think Invasion wins one game anyway. But he just sticks to the game plan, yeah. So simple. Because I watched the game while, while doing a session with Jabril, and I highlighted certain things. You only get hit here, he gets hit there. And the games that he would beat you is because of these things happening. And we had a lot of notes against this guy. How to beat him 100%. Same as L so versus LT. We fixed that already. KBR. We prepared for those three. But, you know, it's very straightforward to beat this one. 
I can't see him winning. His win condition is a Dark Virgil. Or, or, or Zero randomly hitting um, Jabril, which is going to be Jabril's fault anyways. You don't overextend. See how he backs up? You can tag here or DP, whatever. Okay, great. Yep, you just chill here. Yeah, this is his win condition. You have to smother this guy. Yep, you just go there. Yep, it's okay. It's still good. Uh-huh. Zero, zero does not get crossed up there if he goes full third, three quarters screen and down back. That's quite specific with zero versus Virgil. That's not usually the case for every character, mind you. you just do... What do you mean, Peter? That's been labbed the fuck out. It's gonna be easy. Yeah, easy. It's gonna be easy. Jabril only needs to do. Jabril, look, we understand that this is what's gonna happen. He has a superior ground game, superior fireball game, and better neutral. The times that he get hit by evasion is when he overextends and he gets clipped by zero and he dies. See the dynamic of the match? Evasion is going in and Jabril shooting fireballs. Jabril is using Sugembu to zone and create space. Right? Evasion is using Sugembu to attack. So I said play 100% defense and clip him on the way in. Or, you know, make him desperate. Shoot, shoot fireballs. Right? See? And then you can deviate to close the set for a 2-0 or 3-0. Right? You know, one of those. And get clipped. Oh my god, this is huge. You don't want this shit to be 1-1. One, one. Oh yeah, in the mid game as well. If Jabril don't get hit by the incoming, he wins default as well. So weird. Because he has a better mid game. He has a better Virgil Dante than him too. So it's quite hard for him to lose this set. He gets a hit. That's a lucky hit. Though this matchup is quite volatile because if there's two Virgil on the screens, you know, you know anything can happen. Uh huh. GG. Yeah, it's too hard to block these things. He's supposed to do a late push block there. You kill. And then he's gonna. This is quite hard for the Dark Virgil because he's gonna do this. Sword up. Yep. Iced him. And then hopefully get a hit here. Yep. So, so simple. No. Fucking evasion. All he needs to do there. That, that mix that Jerbo did, you don't push block on the immediate, on the incoming. Push block the moment you block the first sword right before you land your push block there. So you don't land because you lose blocks at the moment you land. You know what I'm saying? Push block there. So after the first dash, you push block there. He stays there. You're in block stun. You're not going to get mixed up. Then you will land after. And then there's no more mix up. Then you can X factor and then you start mashing and you kill him. But like the, the recognition of how when they should push block in this game is so automatic. It's so annoying to watch sometimes when I see that. Like they orbit like so most players in general they 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 only do one kind of push block, which is the same timing every time. But if you actually do the specific push blocks for certain setups, you're not gonna get hit there. You shouldn't. Unless you have executional problems. But I'm saying a one hundred percent perfect push block destroys that. Easy. Yeah, he, he can be aggressive here now. Oh, he got he got hit in the first five seconds. That's okay. Yo, yo, uncle, thank you for the sub, buddy. <laughs> he gets hit, he gets hit, he gets hit. This is quite hard. Um, oh, he has better build. He snapped. Oh, he don't want the three versus one. Oh my god, he didn't learn. Oh, he got lucky? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna cross up. Oh, 100%. Oh, he didn't, he didn't X. He didn't want to exit yet. What is wrong with evasion? He don't want a 3 versus 1. He want 3 versus 2. He just lost the previous game to Virgil Dante. And he gifted Jabril again a Virgil Dante full shell. Is this KBR's brother? <laughs> Are you stupid? He's done! 
He's ice. He's done. Come on. Kill this guy. You got one more. Oh, dude, he's so dead. He's so dead. Yup. He's dead. Yup. 100%. Fucking this guy's stupid. He's dead. Let's fuck. Oh my god, he's alive. Oh, no, he's dead. My man is the champ. Let's go, baby. I fucking told you you're gonna win. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Oh my god, this is so sick. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Oh my god, he's been wanting this for so long. Oh, uh, you don't understand. He's been trying to do this. It, there was a time that he was losing to KBR. And then the other year, he started crying in the stage when, um, I forgot his name. The Frank, the Frank player, the Frank West player. Fritzy Cups or something like that. So, oh, so good. Every single day, every single minute that you can. And it pays off for you like this. There's no better feeling. Jabro is our champion here at Evo 2023. Six, six appearances. He finally got it. He finally got it. The ever elusive Evo, Evo Trophy. He's the champ. But I'm telling you. Okay, let me just tell you something. From one to stupid, how bad that decision was with evasion. He did that twice already. And my, three times. The last game he lost to Virgil Dante already. And then he gifted him with a Virgil Dante. You want three. It's so simple, right? You look at it in math. What do you want? Three versus one or three versus two? It's over. What are you guys talking about? You guys think like I don't know Marvel? Like, it's so standard. That was so standard. That's why it drives me crazy. He gave that situation again. That's such a commanding three to one lead. You take that. If the guy comes back to you one versus three, you take. You live with that situation. You take that because that's rare. But a three versus two happens. A win. I would say like a, a three versus two deficit happens quite often, right? More often. God, it's so bad. I did it many times too. Yeah. Dante wants to get Virgil out, right? Virgil, I mean, Dante, um, Jabril's Dante wants to get out to get Virgil in. Well, evasion hits him. Hold on, you know what? I know you want to tag. Let me tag in your Virgil for you for free, so you don't have to use two meters. It's just the worst. That's the worst. <laughs> I love Marvel 3. I don't think they make that announcement, actually, today. But there will be an announcement, but I don't know if it's today. I don't think it's Evo time they do that. They might announce that during Street Fighter, if ever, but I don't think they announce it today. But nonetheless, congratulations to the top three, top six, the evasion. He played well. That's just one mistake he was doing, you know. He beat everybody in, in his path. He just lost to Jabril. So, still, congratulations to him. Congratulations to KBR for being Humpty Dumpty. No, congratulations to KBR. Always very consistent. Every evil throughout the history of the game. Super consistent. You can only respect that. Oklahoma Fiend, okay, stop with this shit, okay? You have just been on KBR's pipe the whole night, bruh. I do not want to hear it anymore, okay? Thank you. Okay, is he done? It's my boy done. There you go. Talk about Monday. Continue. Continue. Okay, um, what happened? Yeah, what's up, CBK? What's good? Um, they hit to above zero. <laughs> You're going to play. I'm gonna play Project L for sure. Street Fighter is a placeholder, guys. Placeholder. Told y'all. Who fucking told y'all that Jabril was gonna win? 100%. Who told y'all? I told you that shit was fixed. I told y'all that shit was fixed. Ray Ray asked me also. Snake Tits asked me also at Evo who's gonna win. Jabril was gonna win 
Tell everybody, 100%. All the problems has been fixed. Well, I guess I was right. No, once you get that good, that level, Jabril, and he's not winning for some reason, you just need another set of eyes to tell you what you're doing wrong. You just need to... Dude, why are you doing this? This is where you, how you're losing. And everything else will be fucking standard after that. It's too good. That shit's done. Well deserved. Well deserved. Oh, did he, you guys understand how many tears, how many times he cried on the stage when every single time he failed, guys. And he always come back next year to practice even more. He would like, dude, he super deserves it all the way through, man. He worked so hard for this. So proud, dude. So insane. I told him the skill gap is so apparent that he's so much more better. That he should just win default. And yeah. So deserving, man. Yeah, it's been a crazy couple of years for Marvel and it's been such a super deserved. Watch, but man, it has to come to an I think Jabro, I don't know how much he gets it's here. I don't know. Yeah, it's been amazing doing commentary with you, Kong. Well deserved. Amazing doing commentary with you, you know, your huge reason. No, no, it's very standard though. Because most people they do the they play the matchup a certain way that they feel they're most comfortable. This is a modern fighting game. Modern fighting games have a set way you play a certain thing, and it's gonna be like that. And then within you follow the rules, the meta gets established, and then it's then it becomes a chess match, right? But is 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 playing a strategy that's that he's comfortable with, but it's not really the correct way to play the strategy to eliminate the volatility in the matchup because there's volatility in every matchup right but when you fight certain matchups just it could be quite volatile you know so you want to mitigate that by playing 